Namaste. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Take a comfortable seat. Today's session is on release. What are we trying to release? Well, during times like this, and also during normal times, we want to release stress. And today we're going to release stress in the form of tightness in the hamstrings. The hamstrings are the back of the thighs. And the hamstrings, when they're really tight, they make the hips very sore and uncomfortable. They also have a tendency to flatten the lower back and create low back pain. Hamstrings also hold a lot of our emotions, generally the emotion of, of fear. And so another thing we want to release is fear. Life only moves forward, never goes backwards, and it can never stay still. It's always going forward. And most of our stress and suffering is because life has moved forward, but we haven't. We don't want to change. We don't want to let go. And so how do you release is we have to develop the skill, which I think is really an art of letting go. How do you release? And it takes uh, a lot of trust and a lot of faith in life itself and then that starts to get into our attitudes about is life happening to you or is life happening for you and then we get into the whole idea as well as my belief system set in the core wounded identity of being the victim of life or can I actually rise up when a challenge comes may I rise up and be victorious so Consider uh, like we're holding on to a trapeze bar. And the trapeze bar we have right now that we're holding on to is a trapeze bar of the past. And in order to move with life, because life can only move forward, we're constantly reaching out to grab the incoming trapeze bar. But the incoming trapeze bar is always just a little bit out of our reach. And the only way I can move forward to flow with life is I have to release what the trapeze bar that I'm holding on to. And when we're afraid, what happens is fear makes us grip the past and we get attached. So the whole idea is we must learn if you want to go forward simultaneously, you have to release. And what are we releasing? We're releasing the known we're releasing the familiar, we're releasing the comfortable, and then we're reaching for something greater. And something greater is not always uncomfortable, but it's unknown, and there's a big fear around that. So we open to the bigger energy, we trust something greater, we trust our own self-love, we trust a connection with our community, and just the values. In the Tantric tradition, there's a value of Shri, which is goodness, that life actually does have your back. What's happening right now may not just be because it's all bad. There's something good. Where is the gift in this? It's too early to find it. We just have to deal with, can we just release some stress today? Can we just let go of the hamstrings and then feel a little bit better? So we wanna be able to release, to let go, while reaching for something greater. And that's how we move with life. Bring your index fingers and thumbs together, palms down, close your eyes, and take some deep breaths. Every inhalation, invite the universe to fill you. Every exhalation, let go. Release, release stress, release worry, release anxiety. Anxiety, release the past. And when you inhale, lengthen your side ribs, head the arm bones back. Lift your throat, draw your palate back, occiput up, and place your palate over your pelvis. Sit tall in who the universe has made you to be. Draw into your heart, source of strength vitality, steadiness, source of inspiration, 
intuition, knowledge. Let's tune into the higher vibrations of life. Let our hearts be called to rise up. And as you exhale, soften your face. Let your hips settle. There's a title of a book called The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. And it's really true that there is a mind-body connection. What you experience in your mind shows up in your body. Fear is a contractive emotion. It's a corrosive agent to the heart. It works against the heart. Yes, we need to respect fear. It keeps us safe. It keeps us surviving, and we're really good at that. But it can take over. Instead of fear driving the vehicle, we need to put fear in the back seat. Put your heart in the front seat. Put the light of the universe in the front seat. So we're not transcending fear. We're not avoiding fear. We're taking it with us as we journey. We're just not letting it stop us from following our heart. Hips settle. Set your intention in your heart. Then bring your palms together in front. May we do a practice today to release what holds us back. To release stress generated by your feet. presence of all those watching at this time and all those who will be practicing. Let a ray of light move from your heart to all those practitioners. Offer your support. And then let your heart expand to encompass the entire globe with light. The heart is infinite. It knows no bounds. Just send healing and light and the strength to let go of the trapeze bar of the past and flow into the future. Take a deep breath, let's channel. to standing, please. Come to the front of your mat, palms in front. Set the foundation of your feet. Every foundation has four corners. Every corner also has four corners. So feet are parallel hip distance. Lift your toes. Press the big toe ball mound down. Pull back to the inner heel. It's, um, it's like an isometric feeling study of the feet. Keeping the two inner points down now, extend diagonally from the inner edge of the heels to the little toe ball mount. And the feet are gonna fan out so they spread apart without moving. That's what isometric means, uh, unmoving. And then keeping those three points down, pull back from little toe to the outer heel. And this is a really great technique, especially little toe to outer heel, to get your shins to hug. Hug muscles to bones. Take your thighs back, draw your tailbone in. And then inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale. Pull forward halfway and stop. Bend your knees. Stick your butt way back behind you. Hold here for a moment. Feel your hamstring muscles. Touch your hamstrings with your hands. They go from the pelvis, the bones of the hips, all the way down the ischial tuberosities, all the way down below the knee. Just below the knee. So we're gonna work these hamstrings today. 
Okay, give him a nice like love tap here. Actually, do a little bit of pummeling, tapping here. Now, if you're really tight, you're gonna need two locks in front of you on eagle talons. You can set these blocks on the three levels. This is higher, this is highest, okay? If this is really bad, you're gonna go to a chair and put your hands up on a chair. If that's still too much, you're gonna go to the wall like this. If that's too much, call 911. Okay, so here we go. Now, the knees are bent. Take a look at your shin and see if you can bring your shins perpendicular to the floor, not slanted back like this. If you go slanted back, you're not stretching your hamstrings at all. Bring your shin parallel here, perpendicular. And then keeping that, you're gonna take your thighs back from the top of the knee to the hip goes back but the back of the calf goes forwards. Put your hands on your back calves, calves forward, thighs back. Okay, spread your toes, place your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart forward. Look at the incoming trapeze bar of life. And then exhale, bow, release, let go. Inhale, lengthen your side rib. Exhale and fold. Now pause. Pull your feet isometrically backwards. Pull back. As soon as you do this, do that, you'll feel um, hugging of the muscles in the back. You'll start to engage. Even the fronts of the thighs will engage here. Pull back. And then exhale, bring your right knee, right foot back, right knee down and breathe. Walk your hands over to the right. Bring your forearms down to the floor if you can. Another good um, position is to uh, bring your forearms down on the block like this. Let me show you from this position. Like this, way easier. Hug your legs to the middle. Scissor the legs. And breathe. Then walk your hands back. You can put your hands on blocks. Root your left heel down, drag backwards isometrically. Now put your left hand on your left outer shin, hug the shin to the middle, widen your left thigh. Hug your shin, widen your thigh. Keep the actions, put your hand back down. Then pull your tailbone in, belly in. Exhale, forehead to shin, or as close as you can. And breathe. Ideally, we wanna stretch the hamstring in the belly of the muscle, not the attachments. So if you have pain in your sitting bone or in your knee, First thing, bend your knee a little bit. If it's in your sitting bone, you gotta pull your tailbone down more, pull your belly up more. Exhale, cross your hands over to the left, bow again. And breathe. Enjoy the sensation. Pain is just a label. Suffering is just a label. See if you can enjoy your misery for a moment. Very intense. Stay with it, stay with your breath. Inhale, come up. Bend your left knee. Step that foot forward, Uttanasana. Heart forward, exhale, bow. Come back to shin perpendicular, back of the calves forward, top of the knee back, calf forward, knees back. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, left foot back, knee down. 
pause and breathe. Walk your hands over to the left and bring your forearms down onto the floor. Keep your back toes curled under so that your back foot is perpendicular to the floor. Push through your big toe ball mount, left big toe ball mount. Hug your shins, widen your butt. Actually try to stick your butt out more. Then pull your tailbone in. Breathe. From your pelvis, energetically expand through the left foot. And from your pelvis, expand and stretch through your spine. Inhale. Come up. Walk your hands back until your right heel comes up. Root the heel and pull isometrically back. Each exhalation. See how much more you can release. Release, but don't give up. Keep your toes spread apart. Bring your right hand to your shin. Hug. In a way, like to let go of the trapeze bar of the past, which is releasing old habits that no longer serve us, you have to have some kind of strength. So hug your shin. Rise to the challenge. And then widen your right thigh. Keep the actions, pull your tailbone in, belly in and up, bow. Nice deep breaths. Another um, quality, let's say a heart virtue that we need to release is compassion. Just give yourself space. Give yourself space, you know? Like the hamstrings aren't gonna release right away. It takes time. Twist to the right, root the heel, and pull back. But just because it takes some time doesn't mean we're gonna give up. Exhale. Soften your skin, soften your face, but root your heel and drag back isometric. This more. Seek out the sensations. In a way, yoga is a proactive way to address fear and be able to release what we no longer need. So one of the differences between yoga and like a, just a fitness routine, we're working at a body, mind, heart level. And fitness does help, exercise does help. But here we go directly to the source and create a shift. In a certain way, yoga is the power we have to intervene with our destiny. Come back to center and bend the right knee. Step back, plank. Exhale, slowly lower down to chaturanga. Knees down as needed. Point your toes straight back. Inhale, cobra. Claw your hands back. Lift your side ribs, head of the arm bones back. Turn to look over your right shoulder, but keep your left shoulder back. Hug your shins more in toward the middle. Inhale, center. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. But instead of letting your right shoulder come forward, keep the right shoulder back more. center, exhale down, press back into downward facing dog pose, bend your knees, lift your sitting bones way up, inner thighs back, groins go back without turning your knees in, so turn your thighs in, but widen your knees as wide as your ankles, make a little ski jump in your low back. Lift your armpits, heart melts. And from your heart, push down through your hands and from your heart, lift up through your back and root the base of your shin back, base of the shins. And then see if you can straighten your knees more. Don't over straighten them, that's hyperextension.
very good hamstring stretch right here. Exhale, right foot forward. Turn your left foot all the way square to the back edge. Come up onto your right forearm, left hand to your hip. Bring your front leg into a 90 degree bend. Front heel centered with the center of the back arch. Belly and heart up to the sky. Take your left arm over the ear. Hold the back of your head for a moment, elbow down. Pull your armpit back. Stretch your left elbow, then stretch your arm. Thumb up. Exhale, spin down to the floor. Inhale, go back into downward dog. Exhale, left foot forward. Spin the right foot square. Come onto your forearm. Right hand to your hip. Hug your left, move your thigh bones back. Tail in. Stretch your right arm up and over. Turn your thumb up. Bring your right hand behind your head, elbow down, armpit back, and stretch. Stretch your elbow toward the head side, and then stretch your arm straight. Stretch. Reach for the incoming trapeze bar. It's like we're reaching for a destiny we want to create. See it, envision it, be it. Each exhalation, release fear, release stress. You got this. Exhale, come on down. Step back down on facing dog pose and bend your knees all the way down. All right, for this practice, you're gonna need a belt of some kind, so. Grab your belt, line your back. Take the belt around your right foot and pull the belt, both hands go up. As best you can, left left foot, push your left thigh all the way down to the floor. If you can't get it down, you can try arching your back way up. Get your left thigh down. Keeping your left thigh down, when you pull on the belt and push your right thigh away from you until you get a hamstring stretch. Hold and breathe. If your back goes flat down, if you're feeling the vertebrae on the floor, back off your right leg. You want to stretch the hamstring, keeping the low back curved. Then hold both ends of the bell with your right hand. Bring your right leg out to the right, left arm out to the left. And breathe. Hamstring is made up of three muscles and they braid together. They have an external weave. And the stretch, Supta Padmavishtasana 2, stretches the inner hamstring muscle, the, most, the one closest to the midline. Inhale, bring your left back up. Hold the belt with your left hand and slowly cross midline and then come all the way down. Roll onto your left hip. Keep your foot off the floor. Take your right arm overhead and then out to the side. And the play here is gonna be right shoulder down, right foot down. Take your thighs back, left thigh goes back, tailbone in, and then right arm up overhead. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale, come up. Take the belt. 
Now, keeping your left thigh down, hold both ends of the bell with your one in each hand, and exhale, trying to keep a low back curve. Lift your heart up toward the knee. Bring your knee towards your heart. Keep your left thigh down. Continue. Breathe. Push your left thigh down. Your back will flatten a little bit, but not totally, if you can keep your left thigh down. Now we're gonna move two inches to the right with the thigh, right thigh. Move your right leg two inches to the left. Oh, do that again, two inches to the right. Lift your heart. Okay, exhale. Please. That was a never before seen posture. Okay, left side. Stretch your right leg out. Okay, get the back of your right thigh down on the floor. Flex your foot. Right leg is Tadasana. Arch your back way off the floor. Then pull on the bell. Push your left thigh away from you. Both thighs go back. Just the right thigh goes onto the floor. Left thigh goes into the back of that hamstring. Pull on the bell for a psychedelic experience. See if you can go into the stretch now with your consciousness and find exactly where just the right amount of stretch is for you and breathe. Be content there. Release any need to be more flexible than you are. You know, hamstrings reply, uh, respond to shame and judgment by getting tighter. So we need to learn how to accept and love the hamstrings. Now you can bend your knee if your hamstring is so tight here, that's always fine. But I'd like you to keep a low back curve. Hold both ends of the bell with the left hand, go on over. Right arm out to the right. Palm up. Breathe. Even while you're stretching out, scissor your legs toward the middle. Hug, engage. It's very interesting. In order to release, you have to have some strength of faith or some strength of the unknown, some strength of the heart. So, you know, release, but don't give up. Hold strong, inhale, left leg up, hold with the right hand. Slowly go down to the right, roll onto the side of your right hip, thighs back, right thigh back, and then take your left arm out to the left, and breathe. Turn your head so you're looking straight up, a full stretch as you turn to look um, over your left hand. Scissor your legs, thighs back, tailbone in. Left arm over overhead on the floor. Just take a few minutes to breathe. Release into the floor. Feel the support, the whole earth beneath you. Well, at least one good thing is happening with everybody sheltering and travel going down. Air pollution in certain concentrated areas has decreased. Isn't that interesting? So we breathe. Release the old trapeze bar reach for the new. There's a place in the middle where you're just suspended. Enjoy the flight. Inhale, come up. <clears throat> Hold both ends of the bell. Keep your right thigh down on the floor. Exhale, lift your heart toward the knee. <clears throat> and pull on the bell more. Keep your right thigh down. There's a little space under the low back. Stretch, push your left thigh back while you pull the bell. 
stretch more. Breathe. Shaking is sometimes good, sometimes not. If you're in no pain and you shake, a lot of times it's just the nervous system reaction to the intensity of the stretch. I call that emotional, um, psychophysical emotional release. Of course, we want to stay out of physical pain. Exhale, release. Bring your leg down. Just rest for a moment. Take a second. Feel your legs. Whoa, that makes it look good. Feel your belly too. It has an effect on the belly, it has an effect on the spine, and then the whole central nervous system where you begin to calm down. Very effective. Look at the side and come up. Come to standing now. Take a wide stance, feet parallel. Bring your ankles as wide as your wrist. So stretch your arms out. Um, have some blocks ready by your right ankle. Hands to your hips, left foot square, right foot open. Heel the center of the back arch. Hug your legs to the middle, squeeze. Try to pull your kneecaps up. You need to be able to access power through the legs. Pull from the feet to the pelvic core. Standing poses really help us get more grounded. Develop strength, self-reliance. So pull in. Stretch your arms, you're going to Trikonasana pose. Exhale, hinge from your hip, come down slowly. As you come down, don't let your feet roll out. Keep the inner edges of your feet down. Stretch to your right, stretch to the right, stretch to the right, keep going, keep going. And like we did yesterday, left hand to the hip. For those with tighter hips, you're gonna angle over to the left, off your mat in front of you, and now stick your butt back, elbow in. Then bring your hand to the outside of the right ankle or onto a block. Legs straight, scissor. Then thighs back, tail in. Lift your heart, lift your belly, stretch your left arm up. Armpits go back. Actually bring your top arm, left arm forward a little bit. Suck the armpit back, then stretch up straight. Elbow creases, roll to face the head side. Look down, bring your left hand to your hip. You're gonna go to Ardha Chandrasana, balancing half moon. So, Bend your right knee, shorten your stance, step your left foot forward. Drag the left foot on the floor as you pull muscles into bones, and then lift the back leg. Walk your right hand 10 to two, 10 and two, 10 inches in front, two inches over to the right. Lift your back leg about as high as your hip, or a little higher so that both the inner and outer muscles of the leg stretch. Stretch your left arm up. Especially hug your right leg and the right hip and buttock. The buttock muscle has to wrap back, wrap. Back. Exhale, switch your arms, left hand down. Rotate, right arm up. Don't let your left leg sink. Keep your left leg lifted. Now deepen your breath. Switch your arms again, right down, left up. And then sweep your left hand down to the right ankle. Turn your hips to the front and lift your back leg. Try to lift the inner back thigh. Doesn't matter how high the leg comes up. Access your inner thigh up. Imagine someone put a belt on your back thigh and you're pulling the inner belt. So the inner thigh goes up more. Then, forehead towards the knee. Urdhva Prasarita Ekha Padasana. Hold. 
Exhale, bend your right knee, step back to Paras Bhutanasana. Three feet, square your hips to the front and fold. Walk your hands to the left, pivot on your feet, Prasari to Padottanasana. Hold your ankles or move to the edges of your toes and prone, bring your head almost down to the floor. Armpits back, groins back, tailbone in. Sweep your arms out to the side, push your feet down and come up, reach up. Exhale, release. Second side, left foot open. Widen your stance again, ankles and wrists. Hug your legs. Exhale, go. Switch your block. And come on down. Take your left hand, go out to the right, stick your butt back, bend tailbone in. Replace your left hand to the outside of the left ankle. Scissor your legs. Thighs back, tailbone strong, belly and heart up. And stretch your right arm. Right wrist forward, armpit back, and then right arm up. I'm gonna stretch my arm over the head here. I need a little more stretch on my right key level. That's tough today. So you can join me if you wish. Right hand to your hip, look down. Bend your left knee, take a step forward with the right foot. And then you're gonna drag the right foot on the floor to engage your muscles as you balance on the left leg. Bring your left hand 10 inches forward and two inches left. Right arm up. Pull from your feet and fingertips into the core the pelvis, like a super nova star, radiate out down through the left leg, right leg, spine, from the pelvis, through the arms, all the way up to the fingers. Stretch your fingernails, stretch your neck, your head. Every inhalation, pull light back into its source. Every exhalation, Stretch, release, open. Exhale, switch your arms. Breathe. The body only responds to the demands you place on it. So yes, we're demanding more for the left leg. Demand it and it will give it. Never demand anything, you just stay kind of limp, a victim. Hug your legs. Wrap the left hip back more, left butt up wraps. Lift your right leg more. Switch your arms. Exhale, sweep your right hand down to the left ankle, bow. Turn your hip square to the left foot and then lift your inner right thigh higher. Don't worry about the, the level of your leg, just get the inner thigh action to lift. Everyone's got different capacities here. The action is not judged by how far you go. Shia is more about how you go far. So good action. That's what's going to produce the result. Your left leg should be on fire about now. Exhale, bend the left knee, step back three feet, Parsvottanasana. Square your hips, fold. Pivot on your feet, now walk your hands around to the right. So you're in wide angle, prasarita. Hands to hip, shoulders back, root the feet. Inhale, come up with your spine aligned. Okay, you have three more poses in you? All right, let's try it. Here's the first one, downward dog. Lunge your, your um, 
right foot to the left, right foot to the left of center. And then lower your right leg down. That's your why it's giving feedback. Left knee down to the floor. This is too much for your hip, just move your right foot back. Place your left hand in the sole of the foot, push foot to hand, push foot to hand, hand to foot. And then lean towards your left and widen your right hip out to the right. Widen it. Left toes are curled under. Push your left big toe ball mount back. Left shin hugs, left thigh wide. This is like spraying WD-40 in the hip joint. Opens it up. And you can pulse it a little bit, so I'm just, I'm moving my right knee forward and back. Fold all the way down if you can. Now we're doing bus stop. Glad the buses are still running. Okay, right elbow to the right foot. Palms in the prayer position or have mercy. Have the arm bones back. Even with all this stretch, turn your heart up to the sky. There is a glimmer of hope. You never let go of the light. Never. We come to find in the practices, yes, there is light and dark. But our nature is light. Light wins out. Love is stronger than fear. So we breathe that into our center. It's a perspective. Inhale, come back to center. Step back into downward dog pose. Make sure your hip goes with you. Exhale. Left foot, a little bit to the right of center. Roll to the little top edge of your left foot, knee down. Right knee to the floor. Place your right hand in the sole of the left foot. Push your foot into your hand more. You want to push your foot until you start to feel the sitting bone widen out to the side. So that's what you're going to get. Curl the right toes under. Push your right big toe ball mount. Push your right big toe, ball mound, and the left sitting bone away from each other. Breathe. See if on the next breath you can release tension in your hip. Try releasing it in your belly first. Like we get even nervous about it and stretch. Oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. And then we get all tense again. So you have to go to the source of that belief. Just do less, do less. See if you can release your belly, calm yourself, release the belly. And then go a little deeper in the stretch, it folds all the way forward. For those that want to keep going, twist to the right, bring your elbow, left elbow and the left foot. Palms and Anjali Mudra and bones back. Lift your heart. Open to grace here. Release your grip to the trapeze bar. Hold you stuck. You're ready for more. We're all ready for more. Inhale, come back to center. Step back down, facing dog pose. Come down with child's pose. Okay, grand finale pose. Come up. You will need two blocks, maybe even three. 
We're gonna approach the full split on a Manasana and forget about the final pose. Do the actions that I'm gonna give you. And so by going into a more advanced, a more difficult pose that requires more longer hamstrings and open hips, um, you're gonna get tremendous value. If you just try to push yourself into the final pose, you're not getting any value. You might get negative value, okay? Remember, keep the stretch in the belly of the muscle. Keep the muscles uh, engaged, firm. So here we go. We've got a couple of blocks ready. Right leg forward, lunge. Go to runner stretch. Right leg straight with the heel. Hug your leg muscles. Then slowly slide your right leg forward, not all the way, but a, a fair amount. It helps you get your heel on the floor or something that's slippery. Then curl your back toes under and move your left knee back a couple of inches. Turn your hips square to the front, scissor your legs, and breathe. Walk your hands over to the left. Lean left, but widen your right hip to the right. You can even move your right heel a few inches out to the right, and you'll see you go way further into the pose. Just go as far as your body naturally can. There's no pressure here. Inner rotate your thighs, widen. Then bring your hands to center, and uh, here you can, you know, already you can just put your hands up on the blast, and the blocks are full. Sorry, I didn't show that. Um, lean a little bit to your right. Widen your left thigh to the left. Lean right. Widen your left thigh. Keep your toes curled under your um, left shin is perpendicular. Heel is perpendicular. The shin hugs. Widen your left thigh. Breathe. And inhale back to center. The last step is you scissor your legs like crazy and then place a third block underneath your right hip. And you got to put the block up onto the edge where you can actually put pressure down like this. So I use the middle level. You can sometimes get away with the flat side. Some of you might be all the way down, so then don't use the block. Hug your legs to the middle, and then if you can, hands to your hips. If that's too much, keep your hands on the blocks. Otherwise, try to get one arm up, and the other arm up, and then both arms. Hanuman Asana, Hanuman is the monkey god, who is always in service to the heart great capacity to release fear and serve, to do what was needed, to what was right, what was best. Exhale. Release. But Hanuman's leap was always with love. Exhale. Release carefully. Switch. Left leg forward. Start in lunge, then runner stretch. We just call this half Hanuman. Root the heel, isometrically pull back. So you start to feel the stretch of the hamstring going. Then walk the heel forward, not all the way, but almost. You've got your blocks here for support. Walk your right knee back. All these steps, you just go as far as you can. And then that's your practice. You do the actions. Hug, scissor your legs in the middle. Hug your shins. Widen your thighs apart. Push your right big toe ball mound straight back. And then hold. You're going to feel stretch in all different places. Sometimes you'll feel it more in the back leg. Sometimes more in the front. Breathe. Stay calm. Come back to the breath. 
even as you engage, release, but don't give up. Lean. Now, a little bit to your right, and widen the left thigh to the left. Lean right. And even glide your left heel up to the left a little bit. And you'll see, as you do this, you stick your butt way back. Left side goes way back. You start to come down quite, quite a bit. And then come up to uh, straight. Lean your torso to the left. Widen your right thigh to the right. Oh, that's rough, tight. Then come back to center. You've got the blocks under your hands. You're going to put a third block underneath the left sitting bone so you can actually sit. Hands to your hips, one arm up. Other arm up. And then if you can, you can do both arms. Now, once you're here from your pelvis, now you push down to the pelvis and out, back foot and front foot. From the pelvis, rise up. And breathe. Just a moment of victory. And wherever you are is the victory if you can be fully there. Child's pose, big toes touch, knees a little wider. All of that work really, I just wanted you to have a really nice child's pose. You know, when you're in child, it's like, wow, the release of the hips, the legs, let it go. the natural healing energy of your body make you whole again. It's the energy of Soma. Soma is the nectar of the universe, the wholeness that flows through our veins. So we hardly ever get to access it because we're so caught up in fear. Fear is going to keep you at the surface of the ocean where the water is choppy. We need to, it's going to keep us safe so we can avoid the big waves. But this soma, this nectar, this healing is deep, 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 deep down underneath the surface, deep in the ocean. Please go there. There's more to you than what's on the surface. Come on. Go. Now slowly come up and lie on your back for Shavasana. Today, take a blanket roll and you're going to place it underneath the base of your femur, just a little bit above your knee. And what that's going to do, it's going to tip the top of the, the base of the femur up so that the head of the femur descends. Come down on your back, close your eyes, turn your palms up, be receptive. Take several deep breaths. Close your eyes and let your whole body settle. With each exhalation, see how much more you can release. Let go of your legs and hamstrings now. Release the bones of the pelvis, the hips. Just let them open. Relax your belly. Relax your heart. And imagine you had sandbags on your shoulders. Release the shoulder blades deeper into the earth like two round flat stones on a bed of a garden.
release the base of the tongue. Allow your eyes to descend. As the eyes relax, the jaw relaxes. Eyes and jaw. Let the earth hold you now. And affirm to yourself all is well.
Let's be curious in the comments. Close your eyes, go inside, and notice the effect from the release. Hamstrings more open, more blood flow. some of that openness up through your central channel, to your heart, to your head. And let the breath help integrate body, mind, heart. To bring a sense of well-being and health. Fear. We don't let it drive our world. Put it in the back seat. Put your heart in the front seat of your vehicle, this body. May we go forth today. Shanti means peace. Peace begins with you. Peace between body, mind, heart. All channels of communication open, flowing. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Send blessings everywhere. Sound of all.